Merry Christmas and welcome back. This is your 12 days of Google Christmas. Well, we are down to the very last one. It is Christmas Day, and so the number one searched question on Google about biblical slash moral topics of 2019 is, what is love? Now, when you think of the question, what is love? Probably the first thing that sprang to your mind is the same that sprang to mind. Words of the great theologian Hathaway, baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Yeah, that's what came to my mind first. After further review, it turns out that's just a pop singer from the 80s, not actually a theological commentary. So I did go ahead and turn to the Bible to get today's answer. Number one is that Christ commands love. He says so in John 13. Here it is. By this we will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. The Apostle John also wrote in 1 John chapter 3 that we know that we passed away from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. You see, that separates us from the rest of mankind, the way we have chosen to love one another. Not only does it separate, it also identifies us. That comes up in 1 John chapter 5, where John says this, By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love and keep His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. So the second main point is that Christian love is not a feeling. It is actually a lifestyle, a choice. If you're waiting to feel warm and fuzzy for every person you ever come into contact with, you're gonna be waiting a very long time. That's not really what Christian love is all about. In fact, we find a pretty good description over it over Matthew chapter 22. It says this, a Pharisaic lawyer once asked the Lord, teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. See, when Christ talks about love, he talks about the love of the Father and obedience, and then says the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor like you love yourself. So obviously it's not meant to be warm, fuzzy, romantic feelings, but taking care of those around us. That's a decision, that's a lifestyle. So Christ summarizes the entire law by saying it's love. We find that um, kind of rephrased over in Matthew chapter seven, where it says this, Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So in summary, Christian love is selfless, it is giving, and it's a choice, not a feeling. Well, Merry Christmas. I pray you've enjoyed this entire series. We're up to the very last day, and I'm sad to see you go, but that's all. God bless. We'll see you next year.